everybody, it's Billy. Welcome back to Billy Holman Creations. Um, today I have a few, uh, a couple new products that I went ahead and splurged on um, after my sale a couple weeks ago. So first of all, um, I found this on Amazon and it's a leveling table. It's, uh, I believe, 12 by 17. It's not huge, but I'm always having trouble with my countertop going off to the top left and this way we're gonna see if I can't do a tray today with you know having a level pour and that's what we're gonna do today so another thing I purchased from Let's Resin is this heating pad or warming pad for resin now it it's electric and it's about the same size, maybe a little, I should have measured, but I'll have them in the descriptions for my Let's Resin uh, website link and my Amazon storefront. So you can get the full dimensions there. So anyway, I'm taking my handy dandy favorite tray mold because I've used this several times and I'm going to use this. Oh, but wait. Oh, but wait, Billy, we have a silicone mat that comes with this heating pad, and you lay your silicone mat on top, like so, and you want to get your uh, molds right in the center of this line here, so the heat is dispersed equally, and I don't think I want to go over that little contraption. Anyway, my board is level, I've got my heating pad, and you don't turn it on till after you pour, and wait about three hours. Uh, the limit, I believe, is two millimeters thick, but I'm going to do a thin pour on this tray. So let me get this right here, like so, and I've mixed up two cups of my amaz amazing clear cast. But I'll do a top coat with my um, Just For You Online Premium uh, resin because it's food safe, apparently. Anyway, all right. And another thing I purchased is I couldn't stand it because, um, oh, I've been watching a little bit of Instagram. And I went on the Craftsman Store website and I got a mold here, which is a circle, but it has a little divots in it so you can have holes once this is um, poured and hardened. So I have another idea with my head on this one. We won't go into that today. I might pour my extra resin, but we'll go into this another another time. But today, I've got my two cups, which is probably more than I need, of my amazing clear cast, and I'm going to do two colors today. I'm going to do a lime green and black because we're doing one more Halloween project. So I'm going to get my gloves on. I had my mask on when I mixed and get my gloves and we'll pour some colors. So I think to start off with, I'm just going to do like six ounces in each cup and save a little clear just in case I need it. But let me go ahead and pour, six would be second to the top line. Let's just do that. And I want to hurry because I don't want to flash cure. Because I don't have a lot of wide containers. Let's see what we can do. Just go up, save myself a little bit. All right, to about there. Well, that's saving a little bit. Actually, I should just, uh, let's just use it all. We'll just use it all. Go back to eight inches in each cup. Like this, and I wanna hurry. So, in the meanwhile, uh, I'm going to wait for this resin to get tacky, and um, 
then we can add on to this bottom layer because we're working bottom side, side up. I'm not turning anything over. But I went through and collected some Halloween things that I happen to have. And I'm going to start my black with just one squirt of Bombay Black India ink. I'll just do that. And I think that should be about enough, actually. So let's see what we have. Oh, that'll work fine. That'll work just fine. We should be good. Stir it up real well. And I hope you enjoyed my little bat wall hanging, the bat in the moon. It it was my vision. Um, it's kind of different, but thank you for your comments saying that you did like it. I appreciate that so much. Okay, I am going to um, add alongside with that, and I don't know if it will how it will show up, but I have some Maystring uh, Dazzling Diamond that. Oops, and I didn't open this yet, did I? Nope. Oh, I'm going to have to cut that and open it. Well, let's get the other mixed. Maybe we don't need a glitter. We'll see. Now, I've got the Bombay. This is Grass Green India Ink. And I believe this was the only green that came in that set. But we're going to add one good... Dropper full. Let's see what happens because I'm going to add some lime green uh, soap dye from the soap store, which I have on my link for Amazon. The soap shop, that's what it is. Pardon me, the soap shop. This is shop. This is a little translucent. I forgot the Indian inks are rather translucent, so let's add one more squirt of this. I'm not going to dig for my pace. It'll just take me a while. Let's do one more squirt of that. I must have stuck my hand in resin because I'm all sticky already. Yeah, that's a good Halloween green, I would think. Got a bigger stick. Okay. I am going to also add... Let me wipe that off. Get my alcohol ink here. Or alcohol spray. Get that off my gloves. Okay, I'm going to add this lime green whoop, powder. In the soap store. This will give it some shimmer. So some of the other items I'm going to be adding to this are orange and purple, but we're not going to use that for our resin colors. Can open this thing. Here we go. There. Lime green and give it some shimmer shimmer. It won't take much, but I think a good scoop like that will be just fine. There. Okay. It's my little skinny stick. Ooh, I like that. I like that. That will be nice. That looks really pretty, doesn't it? Okay. And the um, pigments are going to rise. If I don't stir it right, but you know, it's going to be somewhat covered. I'm getting a bigger stick. 
uh, with some of the items we're going to put in here. Like I said, I just went through my collection of stuff I've saved and we're just going to use it up. All right, so while I'm doing that, you know I have some just for you online black pigment. I wonder if this will give us a shimmer. Might as well try it. Put that in the black. Oh, yes it will. I can see it now. Let's get a little scoop of this in here. We'll just go with that. Get a different stick in a second. This is just too skinny. Still black on my stick there. Let's go another big, big one. Oh, well, that's good. It's, it's not a shiny, shiny black, but it's a little bit of a shimmer to it. All right, now let's see how coordinated I can be. Because I'm gonna split this mold in half with these two colors. Um, diag not diagonally, um, crosswise, crosswise. So maybe what I'll do first is get a good grip, get this one out of the way, and I've got flakes on my mold from the cups apparently. Let me see. Let me just grab a little tape and that's just resin, a little bit of pigment I think. It's not going to matter. It's on the bottom. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black line from this corner to this corner. And we're just going to fill that in. But I don't want it real thick. So let's start with that. And I'm going to take the green. Ooh, look at the pearlescence in that. That's pretty. And we're just going to come this way. I'm sure it'll find its way to the black. And we're going to cover that joint anyway. I'm going to get my sticks and push those to the side. Okay. Get a little over here. Looks like the black is heavier and it's going under the green. I think we'll be all right. Can just see it's darker over there where the green went over the black one way or another it makes no mind this is just one of those trial things I tend to do see how it works out all right I'm just gonna get those to the edges Like that, because I do need space to put our items in. I've got a lot of that resin left. Initially I thought, oh, one cup, maybe I should just do one cup. And then I thought, what if I'm in the middle of it and I run out? But we're just going to go with that. Down here a little ways. This corner. And it's looking somewhat level. Gosh. Yes, it's looking level. I just have more black than I do the green. So let's add a little more green. Okay. 
I'm going to get my heat gun. You know how that works, I'm cutting it out. So, okay, let me, if I can have this black come just a little more over this way. Make it more of a straight triangle in a sense. Yeah, just like that. I'm going to take my little styrofoam tool here and just go around the edges. I see some bubbles. And I think this will be just thick enough for what I want to do. Just like that. And the green. Just like that. All right. I'm going to plug in my little heating pad and see how that works. Just saw I'm losing my black right there. I guess I better add a little more. It's pulling already. Maybe we did need a little more than that. Okay. I will get back to you uh, when this sets. I'll see you in a little bit. Little bit. Okay. Bye. Hi everyone. I must say this heating mat, I'll tell you, I took it off, but it only took an hour and a half and I came and checked it and look at this. It's, it's pretty hard already. It's not completely cured but it is hard already and I was hoping to catch it when it was still a little tacky but that makes no mind um, let me show you what I'm gonna do all right first of all I had this scrap of fabric here which has uh, spider webs and purple spiders on it so I my plan is to lay this in here over the green and I started to trim a little bit so I could possibly um, get the edges right into some of the curves and of course I moved it so I don't know where I am now <laughs> let's see how did I have that anyway I am going to trim a little of these edges on this fabric if I can and I lost a spider oh and I'm upside down that's the problem there we go that's why all right there I go I started to trim this just a little bit so let me finish just um, going around the edge here so it's as close as I can get it to this side of the um, edge so that'll just take me a few minutes I started it but I'm not gonna be that cautious I just want to get a few curves in here and uh, this will be the only side I do I'm not gonna worry about the inside because we're gonna cover that seam I just want to get close when I'm going to lose that spider or a leg or two but uh, yes I was thinking if it was tacky I could just you know press it down and it would it would hold but that's not going to be the case just yet so let's see where I am oh gosh this is real pretty though one Halloween my friend Linda was staying with me and she was sewing a really cute cape and uh, I asked her if I could have the scrap material so this is one of the smaller pieces and I thought it would work out just perfect just perfect for this I'm just gonna go 
here. Take a chunk out. Take a chunk out here. And just take it a little off this edge. Because we'll hide it. And then I was thinking that I'm going to use a little UV resin to um, set some of these items down. So when I do pour my top coat, I'm not going to have to fuss with uh, things shifting too badly. i got to get that corner. So let me slip on my gloves and see if I can't do that. It's a little UV resin. Now this UV resin I have is from Michael's. And uh, like I said, I haven't worked with it too much, but it's a Michaels brand. And uh, I think I'm going to go something different the next time I have to get more. So I have my little lamp here. And um, I have that in my Amazon shop. And we are just going to try to tack this down. I did iron it a little bit. Let's just see if I can do it. See if it'll work well enough to just hold hold itself in place. I'm just gonna just kind of go down here a little bit around the edges. Get that down. And go over here. So I haven't mixed any other resins yet. Just wanted to get this secure enough to stay. Let's try that. Put the lid on. Now maybe I should. Oh, where is it? I just cleaned it. Maybe I should pat it in a little better. Whoops, I'm going to move it around. Left it alone, left it alone. Pat it down. So it doesn't look bumpy. Like that. Okay, I don't see wrinkles. Let's just, just give it a little once over here. Whoops, there's a wrinkle. Get down. Move that, that. I, I'm, I can't get over that mat. It's just uh, amazing how quickly this um, cured just using that mat. I'm going to have to shift that over just because of that now. It's hard with gloves on, too. I'm going to fiddle because... Okay, now that looks good. There we go. We we'll better cover that up. I don't want it curing on there. Okay, here we go. Let's get it to where it will stay. Pretty amazing. And I should have my mask on because I can smell this. So I won't use much. Tap that in. That's not going anywhere. Okay, next. I have this piece of 
ribbon and I ironed it. It's got the wire edge on it, but I don't want the gold and I don't want the wire. So I'm going to quickly get my scissors and cut all that off. And I'll probably have glitter everywhere, so I'm going over my trash can up to the side here. Just get this off. Because it's thicker than the ribbon and I don't want it gold. I think silver accents would be better. But we'll see what we can do. And once again, I'm going to tack this down with the UV resin. I don't think I need that whole sheet. I'm going to measure real quick. Because what I want to do is I want to lay it like this. Right over that seam. We still saved a few spiders. So let me get this quickly off and cut that extra, get rid of that. So I hope everyone's good today. I've been trying to keep busy. Got a few Halloween decorations up, but not too much. We don't, we really don't have that many children come through our neighborhood and I think it's because it's so dark. That's the problem. Okay, let's see how this will fit. Kind of go over here, cover that up. I'm gonna lose that spider. And I'm just going to Again, try to trim this a little bit. Give it a little curve. We'll hide it. Get this corner off. Okay. Set it in. I've got resin there, there, there. I guess it would be easier once I set it in with the resin, then I can trim those edges. How's that sound? Come on, stay there. Ugh, gloves are not helping this situation. Okay, get a little more of this down. And we'll cover that seam. I want to make sure that's where the seam actually is. I've got a shadow in here. It's evening. My, oops, gosh, look what I almost did. Boy, that would have been a disaster. Whew, close call. I do that with my liquid makeup, too. Go to squirt a little on my fingers and I end up with it, gosh, in my hands because I just get carried away. Just run a bead here. Thin bead. See if I can't push that in. My little makeup brush. I'm going to tap it. Ooh, I better leave it alone. If I hold it one side and go like that. Okay. Washi tape would work if you had that, a Halloween decoration. I'm just trying to use up bits and pieces what I have so let me just run that on there real quick just to temporarily hold it okay that looks good now see if I can trim this 
better. Most of that off of there. Oops, come on. This side. Oh no. Pat it down, stay. Okay, let me do this again now. Hold it longer. right there. I didn't want to hot glue it or super glue it. This should work. I think I still have about a quarter of an inch of uh, height for my resin. And get rid of this one piece of glitter right here. If I can. Come on, you. There's another one here. One here. Okay. There. A little more. This isn't a very big light, is it? Let's see what we can do. It holds itself. That. Back down here. Okay, I see a piece there can go. Come on. Now, you know, I'm going to have to take off a glove because I cannot do it with this glove on. So, what else do I have? I came across some sequins, black sequins. And there's a few, there's a couple of gaps there. I don't want it piece with a gap. It's got a gap. Let's see. That doesn't have a gap. We're not going to be able to notice that very well, are we? I don't know if I want to notice it all that well yet with that, but I I'm thinking I can glue that down too with the UV resin, but I'm not sure if I can get underneath that. I'm going to try it. I'm just going to cut this piece here. Try it once. See if we can do it. About yay long. Okay. Let's just try. 
I'm thinking, you know what? Oh, I hate to do it. I hate to do it. But hopefully it won't show if I do it. I'm going to try it. Let's try this Loctite and hope it doesn't make a mess. Just do a little at a time. This is the... And I've been listing shout outs um, in my description. Just thank you, shout outs, for, you know, Julie at Pouring Your Heart Out, Wendy at Toonpish, Pish, to, at Wendy at Toonpish, Steve McDonald, for, you know, I learned a lot about resin through their videos. And then I need to thank always Miss Wanda for helping me grow my channel and Miss Felicia from um, the crafting nook Miss Wanda is Wanda's blessed creations and then I've made friends with some new artists I've got Cosmic Carol Cosmic Carol creations and Miss Stormy from Stormy's World. Oh, let me see. Miss India from India Brady Arts. I know I'm missing someone. Gosh. Oh. Beating Crazy. Oh, I should have wrote it down. I wrote it down somewhere. Beating Crazy. Beating Crazy, Miss Francis. That's right. Okay. There you go. Look at that. It's down, it's down, it's down. Whew, what else can we stick on here now? I have a lid to this. Now, I'm going to need resin in this area to put those trims down. But maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just go ahead and make up some resin. And this did not take two cups. This took one cup because I had a lot of resin left over. So I poured a few more of these little bats. And let's see what else did I pour. I poured the top of the or the rest of the coffin that wasn't finished. A couple of uh, black koi fish and my new mold with the green and black from the Craftsman shop. We'll see how that turns out tomorrow. But all right, I'm going to Oh, here we go. One more thing I need to show you. You know, I had these little uh, molds for jewelry. And I was going to make jewelry. A couple, you know, earrings. This has been last year, probably. And two different molds. But they're supposed to be the same molds, but the sizes are different. Look at one's bigger than the other. So that didn't pan out at all. But what I'm going to use for this, this for... Is, remember the little bat handles? Look at that. I need a riser to set this down. Raise this handle and I'm going to put the bats on there. So while I'm here with the UV resin, let's go ahead and see if I can attach those little bats to these little risers so I can get them up in the air a little better than what they were so we'll just put some you see me right here and we'll try to center that on one of these little circles I, guess I want the circle to show on the outside of the or be hidden on the outside of the um, tray. Oh, look at that. Let's do this. We'll cover my lid on my resin. Ooh. Here we go. It's pretty centered in there. 
just enough to make him stay on there. Those are so cute. A piece of fuzz on it. Got to hold on. He did move it a little bit. Oh, he's staying. He is staying, so let's go. Maybe under through. And the resin should just hit the bottom of the top of that little spacer, I'll call it. And uh, lift those bats up. So let's do the other one real quick. on here. Where's that hole? There it is. I think. Okay. I'm trying to center that on. So he's got a little more height. That. A little light here. That held in place. Oh, and you know what? I should do the spiders, too, while I'm at it this way, so they don't float around either. So I guess I'll keep going with the UV for a moment. Let's see. I can do. Okay. He's not going nowhere. Guess what I just reminded myself about? Look at this. We're not going to worry about these spiders with butts sticking up in the air. Heavens no. It just dawned on me. I've got Let's Resin stickers. The perfect size Black Widow to go right there. Oh my word. And then we could do Silver Widow over there. Yeah, man. Duh, Billy. It'll stick even though that's fabric. Oh, for goodness sakes. I can just peel this off. I should be able to. Gosh. I can use those plastic ones in something that's got depth. I don't know why I wasn't thinking of that. How do you get these off? Okay. Don't tear a leg off. Boy, that was lucky, wasn't it? So we won't get the dimension I was hoping to get, but that's okay. I won't have to fuss. All right, she's going. She's going in this area. Right? Which way should she go? She'll fit there. I think she should be coming this way. I'm doing it right there. Da 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 da. Wow, jeez. And then the silver ones. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Ooh, I wonder if I can wipe this off. It's glue. Well, I did. Okay, we've got silver. I want to put something there. Could do a big one. Yeah, let's just do the big one. These are uh, tarantulas. We don't want a tarantula. We want a widow. This is Halloween. Okay, now I feel better. Gosh, can you believe it? I can. I'm just babbling. I just kind of feel out of touch. Not thinking straight. Mass confusion in my mind. Lord. Okay, come on. Get this off. 
I'm gonna tear it. Come on, you. Just give me a feeler. I need a manicure. Gosh. Okay. Boy, I could put another. Look at that. That's perfect. Perfect. I think we're going to put her. Well, she's sticking. Like that. Got it crooked right there. Shoot. Let's see if I can pick this up. Oh, yeah. Let's press harder. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Isn't that something? The whole time I had something I could have used. You know, I stepped on a black widow once. Doctor said I squished her before she gave me the full dose, but ooh, he gave me a shot in my foot. I couldn't walk on that foot for like eight weeks. And it looked creepy. It was all translucent underneath. It looked like there was worms under it, under my skin. Pretty gross. Pretty gross. This one doesn't have a red butt. Doesn't have the hourglass on it. Oh well. We'll use it. There. Here we are. More spiders. The spider tray. What should we do here? Not knowing. Hmm. Leave it as it is. It needs a spider. Don't you move. Dang it. Hmm. Another widow there? We're gonna have to. Let's see. There's all kinds of bugs in this packet. This is a packet. Let's resin insects and spiders collection. It's got all kinds of bugs. But this is Halloween, so let me find another. God, the only one we've got is this big kahuna there. I really don't want to wait, you know, I don't want to use her on this one. Let's just leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I knew I had something else. Here we go. Here we go. I knew I had something else. These are black little sticky flowers. And we're just going to throw some sticky flowers down the middle. How's that? Silver. Let me find middle, kind of. Black. And silver. It's a big silver one. Over here. Gosh, I knew I pulled something else out. And I Right on the tip of my tongue. These, these look better. Silver shows up better. Somewhat. There. Oh, that gives it something, doesn't it? Okay. That gives us at least something to look at instead of that big old plain band. There. Okay, I think Billy's got it. I think we're gonna put one right here. Now I'll mix up resin. Actually, I guess you don't need to watch me mix up resin. I'll just mix up a clear coat, put it on top, and then I can come on. demold in the morning. How's that sound? No, it doesn't, because I have to do the edges. Oh, I need to take a breath and regroup. Okay, everybody. I'll be back in a few minutes. Bye. 
Good morning, everyone. I didn't get right to this last night. I went ahead and went to bed. But today, I want to finish this off. And I've just mixed up one cup of resin. And something tells me that's not enough. I made too much yesterday. But anyway, I'm going to start fresh today. And hopefully, I can slow down, calm down, and not sound like a babbling idiot like I did a little earlier with part of this video. So, excuse me for that. Oh, my gosh. I get wound up and then I talk fast and then nothing makes sense to me. Anyway, okay. I want to make a black edge around this green. And what I want to do is I want to use some of these seed beads that I have. Um, they're kind of rectangular and I don't foresee ever using these for jewelry. So I am going to put a little resin in a cup and I'm over here I apologize and I'll I'll come back to you with that I'm gonna put a little resin in the cup not too much I thought about glitter and I thought oh I don't want glitter floating all over these um, solid colors so let's just put a few of these in here I want to make it thick because I don't want them to move around too much. I might have to do a little more in a second. But let's see. Let me just get these drenched a little bit. Like a nice paste. And I want a thin line, not a very thick line. So I'll just mix that up. I think I can add a few more in there. This is about two tablespoons, maybe. I'm guessing. Get those stirred up and wet. Get that resin in there. So I don't have a lot of bubbles. Looks like little pieces of licorice, doesn't it? Okay, and I think you can see me right here in the frame. I'm just going to do a thin, hopefully a thin layer of this around the edges just to cover that netting material. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm all right. Done deal. That looks good, doesn't it? Resin makes them a little bit shiny. So that's okay. There. Now, I have a little orange, some orange seed beads. And I'm wondering if I should go into a corner maybe this corner because what I want to do is put some flowers down and they won't show up because they are black and I had made these a while ago the mold is a little condiment mold from Michaels with just flowers it has a satin finish so they're not glossy I thought about you know touching them up with silver but you could put anything in these corners, but I'm going to put a little orange right in here and uh, see if I can't get those flowers down. So I'll get a little, just a little circle. Oh, what the heck, eh? We'll just do it. Use them up. Use them up. Get my resin back here. Give this a stir. Okay. 
Okay. Have to work quickly, that's getting warm. And I could go around the edge, but I don't have enough and I don't want to waste time. Not sure how well those will show up. Hmm. Over the black. I should have added, added a micro powder to that. Darn it. I don't know that I can. God, I don't want to lift that up now. We're just going to go with it. Just give it a little texture. Hitting that bat. I wonder what I wondered what I was hitting there. Bat wing. Yes, mica powder. And I don't think I can sprinkle any on. Really. And I don't want it to get let's put a little over here. Think about that. It's okay. It's all okay. Just using up a few things that I want to use up. Okay. Now I don't know if since I don't know that these will show up. Check it out. You can't see me over there. Here we go. A little black flower is probably not going to show up. And put pieces under it. Let me see. Ugh. It's going to stick up a skosh, but I don't really think that's going to matter, to be honest. Don't think it's going to matter. Where's my stick? Gosh, I just had that in my hand, didn't I? Hmm. Oh, there it is. I'll put another put three here. Use these up. I could lift this one and get those out from under it. There we go. Another. You'll have to look close to see them, but they're there. Let's wrap this back around. Okay, and we'll see how much clear I have left. And I want to, I'm going to pour a little, let's see if there's anything in that. I thought I saw something. No, I'm just going to drizzle some right on top of this if I can. Make sure that sits in. see me over here that's in the way I'm just putting it on top of that little riser that the bat is sitting on make sure that it adheres because it's gonna miss the edge whoops I believe more in there. this one too
around that. Make sure they stay. Oops, I don't want resin on top of that. And I got it on the wing again. Okay, let me wipe that little wing off here. All right, I'm just gonna pour the rest. Let's see if I have to make more to finish it off. I'm thinking maybe not. Oops. Over there, darn it. All right. Let's just see that'll push it. And I'm on my leveling board. It's cool. That heating mat was pretty sweet, I must say. And I do not have enough, I don't believe. If I do, it'll be very thin. What it might be just enough. I'm hoping. Pardon the scraping. It's got an orange piece in it. I have a spatula here, a little spatula spoon. orange we'll just drop it there go on and that's it that's it let me sit back down and look at this oh I think we're if I just push it around a little bit I think we're gonna be Fine. Get this behind the bat. For my spider. I may have to do a top coat. Sticky that's getting already. Just shy a little bit. That's something. Just a little shy. I'm going to play with this, get the bubbles out. Um, gosh. See where we're at. And when I'm finished, I will get this out of the mold. And we'll show you how it turned out. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Take good care. See you soon. Bye. Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. I'm ready to reveal this tray and you're going to love it. I mean, I did take a peek. It's gorgeous. I put on a final coat of clear and everything looks great. And I have my friend Dusty here today. He's hanging out with me and he's going to join me in this big reveal. Say hi. Hi, everybody. This is Dusty. He's my good friend. Yes. All right, look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I'm sure we can get 
it out of this mold and look at that and it's level this board yeah, it, yeah, made everything really work so well now you can't see my orange around the roses but that's okay the eye goes my eyes go right to the green absolutely i like that mesh you have i love that it that is just trippy so there it is look at this the little bats oh yeah the little bats are in place it is gorgeous let's see the back side there you go wow. we don't it's pretty we don't need to look at that this is what we're gonna see and those handles are cute too. i know right <laughs> Well, I think it's Very good gorgeous. Job. And if you look closely, there's the... Oh, I've got to make sure you see it. Look at that spider. <laughs> he is really cool. And the ribbon turned out nice. Yeah, you can barely even tell that that's a ribbon. I know. That's just wild. I love how it looks. I'm sure it's even better in person compared to what you could show on video. You're right. Oh, it is gorgeous. One of my cool. best, I think. So there it is, everybody. I'm going to go outside, take a nice photo. And thank you, Dusty, for being with yes, me today. Absolutely. It's this amazing. is short and sweet, but one of my best ever. Anyway, take good care, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye. Just kind of move it around in the sun and see. That spider's amazing after that. I know, right? Oh, my God. I love them both. Like to see it glittering in the sun. You just wait. It is. <laughs> okay, that's.